This should be a couple seconds. For a particular machine that produces beads, 29 out of every 100 beads it produces have a defect. So 29 defective beads. Uh, a bead produced by the machine will be selected at random. What is the probability of selecting a bead that has a defect? Well, 29 out of every 100 have a defect. So 29 out of every 100 is choice C. That's it. So easy. But with the time I have left, let me just point out that even though I know this is an easy question, even though it's really simple, on in the back of my mind, as I read this, I'm thinking, what would the trap be? I'm not expecting it because it's number one on the SAT's first module. So it's not going to be a hard question. But I'm, I'm always thinking about this because when it gets harder, I'm always thinking, what could the trap be? Well, we all know what the trap would be. It would be that what is the, uh, the probability of it not having a defect, not having a defect. So what would I have to do? Well, I'd have to go to my calculator. I'd have to do 100 uh, minus 29 to get the number that don't. And so not having a defect is 71 out of 100. So not an answer because they're not tricking us. This is, again, an easy question. But if you can train your brain to kind of always think about what would the trick be? What would be the thing that they would do if they wanted to make this harder? Then you're getting a little bit more out of these easy questions. And you're trying to start to think when they start to get harder, am I going to be prepared? Am I going to be thinking about traps or am I just going to be mindlessly going with whatever they say? Because one word, the word not, would have made all the difference in what this answer was. So it's not like it's always obvious what the trap is. You have to train your brain to make it obvious, to think about it ahead of time.